Hello everyone, in this video we're going to talk about security limitations. This might be a new icon that you've seen recently on your Google Drive files. So they are in uh, Google Docs, Slides, Sheets, Vids, and essentially will show more information about what's limited in that said file. So if you haven't seen that, it might be that you haven't had something shared to you. You might have some users that say they see this kind of like new icon on their drive. And that's a recent change that Google has made, really just to show a little bit more clarity of each file. Now, the limitations in these would be something like download, copy, print, email. Those are disabled in that file. Or the sharing's limited. So these are based off of either the person who uses that file or is in charge of it, or if there is an external like organizational setting that's on it as well. And really this only affects those that you are sharing this to, but I'm gonna just go ahead and show what it looks like. My personal guess is that there's gonna be more limitations that Google will be putting out later, and that's why they kind of switch this screen. And before, you could still do these things, it's just those icons would be grayed out, like you couldn't print, and maybe you didn't know why, and this just gives a little bit more information or a warning to users, like there is some different settings on this. And then you can click the icon and then see. In this example, I have this spreadsheet. I just used some import XML and then HTML just to pull these from the website. Really not needed, but I wanted to have something on this. So this is my account and I have it. I have not shared it with anyone. It's private right now. If you go to another account, you'll have to say, you need access, this is normal. So I'm just gonna go ahead and switch it to then anyone with a link is a viewer. Now here is where the settings would change. You can see here security limitations. Normally by default, these are both there. I was just kind of playing around with this before actually making the video. So this is what it would be if it's just normally shared. I'm just gonna refresh this page. And there we are. This is honestly the normal view that's there. You can see here that there's a print icon and things. So I'm just gonna go back to my account that owns it and let's put on a security limitation. So in this case, this viewer and commenter see the option to download print or copy. Now when you go back, you'll see this here and the first time it'll have this kind of information. You can say, don't show this again, got it. And you can also do view all limitations. So if you click that, it's the same as clicking this right here. This will show up, and these are things you are not allowed to do, or the limitations of this file. From there, you can learn more, and that'll take us back to the front page that I was just showing. In any case, this is that icon that I was talking about. So if you have users saying, hey, I see this shield with the magnifying glass, now you kind of know more, and that's because there's some limitations. Really, it's just that. You can't customize and say, well, I don't want them to print, but it's okay for them to make a copy. That's not going to be on there. Similarly, this one, editors can change permissions and share. If you remove that one, and if you go back, either way, it's not going to show it because this user as a viewer wouldn't have access to do that in the first place. Now, if I go back and share to that exact person and have them be an editor, now this one would change because that means they the editor would not be allowed to actually add other users. So let's go here. It says that it's been updated, so you have to reload. And so now it's loaded up. One thing that, uh, that was kind of interesting with this is I would have expected that to still show up here because that's shared. Now, if I go here, I don't have access to change it because of that setting that I had. I can ask to share, but I'm not able to. I would have thought that would have placed here. Uh, you can also go to help and then go to security limitations, but that one isn't on here yet. So I would have thought it was, like I've mentioned, but for whatever reason, it's not. That said, it still applies to it. And my guess is either that or other restrictions are coming in the future. Anyway, hopefully you find that helpful. Hopefully you are able to answer any questions if someone comes up to you and says, hey, I see this new icon, what does that mean? Or there, I have security limitations, why? I think it's a little more of a step in the direction to be a little more transparent in those documents. And also I'm hoping more customization to keep your documents a little bit more secure with that. 
Hopefully you find this helpful. We'll see you in the next video. Bye now.